So guys, for the first step, you want to head over to the link, which will be down below in the description, to download Microsoft Visual C++. Or, you could just go to any web browser, and then type in Visual C++, and then go to the link by Microsoft. And then once you're on this, you want to scroll down, and then click on X64, this one right here. Wait for this to load. And then once this loads up, you want to click on this. Now you want to click on I agree, and then click on install. And then click on yes. Wait for this to load. And then once this loads up, you want to click on close. And now for the second step, you want to head over to search and type in device manager. Click on it. And then once you're on this, you want to expand display adapters. Then you want to find your graphics card. You want to right click on it. And then click on update driver. And then click on search automatically for drivers. Make sure they have the best drivers for device installed. I'm also going to leave some links down below for Nvidia, AMD and Intel. You want to download the software that comes with your graphics card. For me I have an Nvidia graphics card, so I got GeForce Experience. And then once you're in your software, you want to click on the driver tab. And then click on check for updates. Make sure that your graphics card drivers are fully up to date for the software itself. And now for the next step, you want to head over to search and type in check for updates. Click on it. You want to click on check for updates, make sure your computer is fully up to date. And now for the next step, you want to head over to the link down below to DirectX and use a runtime web installer. Or you could just go to any web browser and then type in DirectX and use a runtime web installer. Go to the link by Microsoft. Now once you're on this, you want to scroll down, choose your language and then click on download. And now you want to click on this and then click on yes. And then once this comes up, you want to click on I accept and then click on next. You want to untick this, and then click on next, wait for this to load, and then click on next again, wait for this to load. And now once this loads up, you want to click on finish, and now for the next step, you want to verify your game files. So I'm going to be doing it on Steam. If you're using Xbox app or something else, you want to verify it on that. So to do it on Steam, you want to right click on Black Ops 6, and then click on properties, and then click on install files, and then click on verify integrity of game files. And then once you do all the steps in the video, you just want to restart your computer and then the problem should be fixed.